Okay. Kick it to daddy. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you noticed the camera. Wave. Come get the ball. Come get it. Job done with the Stairmaster. Gonna jump on the bike now, torch another 250, then we hit 500. Let's go. Hey, hey. exercise to do you know that walk and target those delts if you're looking for a unilateral exercise you can do on shoulders this is perfect for your delts nice controlled presses That's a good one. Delts on swole. Okay, I'm tired. Oh. Do you know what? I've been doing it like, um, it's episodes. So this is episode five. So I literally posted episode two yesterday. Oh, you watched that? Oh, sick. So how long have you been out? So this was episode, um, episode two. I've got episode three and four ready to go. And then today I'm filming episode five. Now Shan's in the room. What's good guys? So um, I'm making breakfast. I'm making egg whites, egg white omelette, only because I don't have any eggs. There's only egg white left in the house. I normally would add two yolks to that. Um, so it's just gonna be an egg white omelette. And then I've got oats with water being made. My boy Joe's here. Joe, where you at? There he is. We're going to go um, train. So we're going to go train. And then, um, actually, you still have to meet uh, Kevin and Tamara. They've taken Asher for a walk this morning. And um, uh, when they get back, you'll see them. And, yeah, we're going to train, man. Big boy chest session.
So yeah, that's the that's what's on the cards so far for the day. They're back from the walk. Actually, who's that? Is that Daddy? Did you forget who Daddy is? Daddy is there. <laughs> you didn't want to come back, you know? Cheers. Yeah. Hey, Baba. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You ready to go down, yeah? Yeah? Come on. Get this off. This off. Come on, baby. Take this off. Hello, Baba. Oh. Say again? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just gonna take my socks and then we're good to go. It's Cody out there. Take him to the groomers. Is he there? Cody. Well, Shan take him already. Well, yesterday was 24. Was it 24? Yeah, I thought it was about that. That's what it felt. Do you know what the value gets to? 39, 40. Shut up. Yeah, 42 even. And people are walking Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. Well, actually, to be honest, Wanyan Canyon isn't the valley, so mm. um, it, I, I, it wouldn't get that hot there, but the valley, yeah. I've seen 42, I've seen 43. Yeah, like, I'm talking, don't go outside without your slippers. Like, your foot will burn. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember, like, when we first had Asher, mm. I was thinking, how are we going to, like, What's he gonna do in summer? Yeah. Cause he can't go out there. He can't be out there for more than ten minutes in that, like in that heat. It's cause it's, it's immense. But we made it work, you know. And the other thing is, you climatize. You actually get used to it. Yeah, that's it. Your body yeah, you're adapting. you get used to. It. Cause when we first, I remember when we were first coming to check houses here, mm. and um, we were like, "How can we live here? We can't live here. This this heat is is mm. ridiculous." Now we live here. It's fine. It's like we're used to it. <laughs> you know. I've jogged in my, on Runyon. I've jogged in Runyon and Shad hates it. Yeah, man. What is one? Uh, read the labels. I think it's uh, two for that one. Take my CLA. Yeah, please. Oh. I got to drop Cody off at the um, rumours. Had a phone call, so I'm late. It's supposed to be 10 o'clock. It's, it's almost 10 20 now. <laughs> Does anyone else's dog get anxiety when parking? Uh -huh. Cody gets mad anxiety when parking. He starts panicking. Yo, yo, we're here. We're parked. Okay, okay. All right. Where's his lead? Where's his lead, please. Yeah. Cody, settle down. You're going to scratch up my legs. Oh, there it is. All right, down. Scratch up my legs, man. Cody, you ready for the groomers? Gonna come back nice and clean. We're not giving him a haircut yet. We like the fluffy look, so we're gonna keep him like this. <laughs> We've got the Porsche back, so Sam's had it all this time. My boy Kevin's driving it right now. Kevin, what'd you think of the Porsche? You lot don't even put the spoiler, don't put the spoiler up, man. Put the spoiler up, put it in sport. Why are you playing, man? Stop playing. That's too slow, bro. <laughs> sport plus as well. There you go. There you go. You got the whole squad in. Everyone's hitting it. They're currently arguing about who's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> They're both denying. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin thinks Sam's bigger. Look at Sam flexing the tricep. <laughs> and we, me and Joe think that Sam's bigger. Sam thinks that Kevin's bigger. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't rep out, just a couple. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah, but that was before I lost a couple pounds. <laughs> so Kevin just said, Kevin just said you did four plates recently, which is true. It was a couple of weeks ago, but that was when I was 237. And as you guys know, the whole point of this uh, vlog is me cutting down. Last time I checked, I was 229. So um, I've lost a couple pounds. Let's see if I still got, you know, strength um, to really move these weights. It's crazy because we had a conversation only a few months ago when I was trimming and I was saying to Sim, my, my, my strength's just gone crazy. Yeah. It's not even like I was losing muscle, I was just losing fat. Yeah. But people don't understand that. It's still weight, it's still strength. Yep. And um, the matter of like, what, half a kilo, two kilos, it's a big, big It's difference. a big difference. I, I, just so you guys know, my personal best of bench press is 445. And at that weight, I was 238. And it counts. All that extra mass counts, man. You How know? I don't know. Last time I checked, it was a couple of weeks ago, I was 229. And do you have a target? Oh, no, it's a couple of weeks. About, about a week ago, it was 229. Yeah. Target, I'd love to see what I look like at 225 or under. Damn, I think I'll be shredded at like under 225. So, yeah. So let's move this. <sighs> Not bad. Heavy. <laughs> Heavier than I'd like, honestly. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel in the sense that, obviously you lift heavy. Yeah. And then when you're cutting, you know you're in shape. Yeah. There must be a point in time where you're like, I can't lose any more strength. I need to lift my weight again, man. Like, well, I've always said I always want to be able to do four plates. And I haven't failed a four plate in a long time. Then you don't try it. I don't try it when I don't think I'm going to get it though. <laughs> you think that will mess you up if you failed it though? Nah. Nah, I'm doing, I'm like, guys, I've been training 20 plus years, I'm, I'm, I've, done, I've done it all as far as I'm concerned in terms of my goals that I wanted, you know? Uh, squatted five, benched four plus, um, what else? Deadlift six plus. Like, little, those, those were my little goals, my little feats. And uh, I did them many times over for years. I think it's clock yeah. game, so what he's doing now is the side missions. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, 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 right now I'm just enjoying my training uh, and maintaining a good physique. Right now, my actual goal is to just get in the best shape, you know? So. Um, of course, I'm going to still lift heavy and enjoy the sessions, but um, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned whether four plates goes up right now or not. So you, 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 you pick what your goal is and you... Pick your mission. Yeah, yeah. Reps. Yeah. Yep, all day. Ah. Ah. Nice. Come on, four, come keep going. Five, come on, six, come on, seven, eight. Yes, one more. Up, three. Right. Six. Right. See, on a good day, on a good day, that's like 10, 12 reps. So, yeah, I've definitely lost some strength with the fat. So, I, I need a happy medium, man. I need a happy medium, but I, I need the four plates. Um, back, but maybe it's just a bad day because I am actually not even feeling well. I've got the remnants of what my son had for two weeks, which was like a flu. Like he had a bad cough and the flu, and then my wife had it bad. I don't know if you can hear how stuffy I am, but um, I'm just, it's teetering on like it wants to come, but it hasn't come fully. So I am a bit under the weather today. I'll put it to that. So but not bad. That's the rest. It's not a rest bench. Nah, B. He needs to do a set. <laughs> nah. We're going to have to hop up, B. <laughs> it's very interesting. Do you know what's interesting? If Sam hasn't been going heavy and he's managed to build this much muscle, that's crazy. Hey, hey. 
Let's go. One, two, three. Come on. Four. Come on. Five. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come. Six. Come. Keep going. Keep going. Come. Up. Seven. Come. One more. Up. Up. Nice. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Come on. This range is perfect because, yeah, 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 when you're bringing it back, you don't feel a, a stretch on your joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll your chest. Cheating. <laughs> it's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. What's good? I'm going to show you guys something about calves. So my brother never trains calves, yeah? Look, solid mass, never trains them. I've been training calves for almost 20 years, 20 years. And I got, oh, hold on. I got a little sign, where is it? It's taken 20 years to get a little sign, you know? So calves can be, calves really can be genetic, you know, but that doesn't mean you don't work on them and try and build them up, you know, because they're not going to grow otherwise at all. So, and then we've got Joe. Joe has very oh, slim, oh, hold on. He's running, why are you running? Hold on. So he has very slim ankles, tiny ankles. And then, little sighing, little yam. He's got that skinny yam that your mum won't even pick up in the in the in the in the store. Put this way, if you have Right now, Kevin is driving the SVJ. Kevin's the first person other than Shan that I'm letting drive it. And the reason being, because I know Kevin's a driver and Kevin drove my 720 like a G over 3,000 miles we did on a rally, so.
start letting off now, you back. If you don't let off the gas, when you change off, it's a bit memorable. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> How many miles per gallon did you get on this part? Not that it matters, but peanuts. When I went to Vegas, it was fantastic. Oh yeah? Yeah, because I cruised and I was shocked. I was I filled up once. What, 15? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Normally, what, 8? Yeah, yeah. Of course, some old drinks. Yeah, yeah. It's worse than the 720, that's for sure. Yeah. When you're wetting it. Yeah. Did you calculate how much the gas costs on the 720 for that rally? I did actually, but I can't remember. I think it was a thousand, wasn't it? Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, my bad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk to me, man. How's the drive? Do you know what? It's... I'm still a bit excited. It's, it's, it's nice. I didn't push it because obviously, you know, first, first time. But I can tell that it's, it's, it's an animal. I was saying to Sim the other day how, like, the McCarran was, was stupid fast. Stupid fast, yeah? But it's not even... I mean, this is fast enough. But it's not even about the speed. It's the whole experience of the car. The sound of it. Like, and I tell you the honest truth, my main word for this car is it's violent. Violent, like, violent, everything, like, excitement is just unreal, man. It's just, yeah, man, it's, it's something else, something else. Amazing.